Yo, what is up guys? It's Elite Shot here, aka Sean, and I'm about to bring you some zombies gameplay. Finally! This is what you guys are probably saying. Finally, finally, finally. I know a bunch of you guys, most of you guys were asking me, post some zombies gameplay, let's see some zombies, survival zombies, transit zombies, 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 zombies. That's all you guys want to see. So many of you guys requested this, and I'm finally going to show you guys some zombies gameplay. And before I start this, I want to say, I want to wish... I'm hoping all you guys had a great, happy Thanksgiving. You spent some time with your family, some, your friends, and you were grateful for everything you had and you did. We all should be grateful. I mean, there's always someone that's that has it worse than us. So don't, you know, take anything for granted. And remember to thank everyone. Let's get into this gameplay before I start to cry. Not really. But let's do this shit. Zombies. I'm so excited to play Zombies. I played Zombies. I never played Survival yet, but I did play Transit. I played Transit probably 10 times total so far. I didn't do the Easter Egg, but the highest round I got to, I believe, was 26 with my friends, me and three other people. Um, I'm going to try some just solo, some solo Zombies. I'm probably going to do Survival on the map. Huh, what map should I play on, boys and girls? I might just play it on uh, maybe town or farm. I might just try the town first and see how I can do. Like I said already, this is my first time playing it, so I might not do that great, but I'm going to try my best. And since this is what you guys want to see, this is what I'm going to play. Some survival zombies on the map town. I can't wait. I'm hoping that this series goes well. I'm sorry for keeping my dog barking. She always barks. It seems like every time I want to do a commentary, she's there barking at nothing. Let's do this, though. In survival, there's all the machines, all the perk machines are all in the same location, so you don't have to go from, from you know, from spot to spot trying to find the machines. <coughs> it's all in one spot, along with the pack punch. It's going to be pretty tough because there's a bunch of fire here and the freaking pack punch machines in the middle of the lava or fire, whatever you want to call it. Let's do this. I used to play zombies so much on my old channel, Epic X Elite Shot. That's all I posted pretty much. I posted zombies, gameplay, tutorials, tricks, and tips, and rape train spots, and guides, and a bunch of zombie help. And that's pretty much how I started YouTube, is through zombie videos. A lot of you guys really, really enjoy that. And I'm glad that it's back in Black Ops 2. Because everyone loves zombies. It has so much replay value. You can keep playing zombies over and over and over again. It'll be a lot of fun. And I'm hoping this series do well, or does well. I'm not sure what I want to call it just yet. Maybe just survival zombies on town, or then I'll upload them parts. If, say if the video lasts, say if it lasts like an hour and a half, I'll upload 15 minute parts. I'm not sure how many parts yet, because it's all based on how long I can survive. And I'm hoping I could survive a long time considering I'm a decent zombie player. Like I said, I played zombies a ton on my old channel. So I kind of have the feel for it. I kind of know the little tricks, how you, you know, shoot them in the leg, and then go ahead for the knife for more points. You want to maximize your points as much as possible. Whoa there, zombo. <clears throat> and it seems like this zombies, compared to Black Ops 1, is a little tougher, mainly because of the stupid lava. They also added those little monkey flying things that scratched your head. You got to knife them off you. It's not that tough to do it, but they always add those little things to make it a little tougher. And when the zombies catch on fire, they blow up like that. Boom. Boom goes the dynamite. Yeah, I'm just hoping I do well. I asked you in my other previous videos if you guys would also like to see the campaign. And a lot of you said you did not want to see the campaign. I kind of understand because the campaign is always not as entertaining to watch. It's not that fun. Although there are some people that want to see it, and the thing is, I actually started doing the campaign. I was live doing a lot of commentary over it, over it, and for some reason, the gameplay that recorded when I tried to upload it or tried to actually put it into my video program, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't work. It just says error. So I then have to try, like, convert that file to a different file type so I can put it in there, and that decreases the video quality. It looks super shitty. And I hate, hate doing that because I don't like my videos being crap quality. So that's why I didn't upload that. And I'm hoping that this Zombies game 
doesn't turn out the same way where I can't import the files. <coughs> it only seems like it does that when the when the file is super long. They stay on zombies are pretty annoying when they blow up. Oh shit! Can't even knife them. That's yeah, super annoying. Gotta be careful about that. I'm not sure where the guns are or the boxes. The boxes up there. Okay. Probably want to hit that first. They're actually get juggernaut. Is there a power switch? I don't know. If Oh shit, I forgot. The fire also hurts you, so I have to be careful about that. I'm gonna open this door real quick to see if I have to turn on the power. I don't think I do. Alright, cool. The power's already on. I just need to get 2,500 points to get Juggernaut. Then I'll be A-OK. -okay. Then I can start doing my rape trains. There's a nuke. I'll wait for zombies to spawn, then use it. That's another little tip, a little trick there. Is if you, if you get a nuke and there's no zombies on the map at the time... Wait a few seconds or wait, you know, 30 seconds or whatever until more zombies spawn and then use it so it's not wasted. Wait for this. Okay, it's going away. I'll just get it now. <coughs> Alright. Need a few more points so I can get my juggernauts. I'll feel a lot more safe with that. It's taking three knives now. And I'm not sure if I want to keep my first pistol. In Black Ops 1, I always used to keep my first pistol. And then when I pack punched it, I would get the Mustang and Sally's. And the Mustang and Sally's are pretty powerful. But the only problem is, if you don't have PhD Flopper, you can kill yourself pretty easily. And in this game, there is no PhD Flopper. So that's why I don't like using it, because I'll down myself pretty easily if the zombies get too close. I still knife them. I also think the knuckles, those electric knuckle things are in here. I want to get those as fast as possible too. I want to peek through that window to check, but I can't tell. Knife you. I think they're on that wall over there. I'm pretty sure the knuckles are over there. The knuckles, I forgot what they're called. They're called like, it starts with the G word or something. I don't know. They're just knuckles that are like electric and then you can punch the zombies in only one punch, which is the same as a knife, but instead you're punching them. Up to round 14, I believe. <clears throat> I'm already losing my voice. I was talking all day today to my family, and it was a lot of fun. I was playing Halo 4 with my older brother, Ben. Halo 4 is a pretty sick game. I actually might buy it. The only reason I didn't buy it was because Black Ops 2 was coming out like a week after, and I knew once Black Ops 2 came out, I was not going to play Halo 4. But I might get it tomorrow because it's Black Friday, and there might be special deals on it. But I don't know. The thing is, I have work. I have work on Black Friday. I might be uploading this video on Black Friday because by the time this is over, it's probably going to be pretty late and it might be the next day already. So you guys might see this tomorrow, but you guys won't know that because you'll see it when you upload it. Well, when I upload it, actually. But yeah, Black Friday has a bunch of great deals. That's when I plan on buying my computer, which I mentioned in my last video. Last video, I plan on buying a computer from... CyberPowerPC or iBuyPower.com. They're two pretty sweet computer websites. Still knifing these guys. Gotta be careful. I don't die. Damn, they whack pretty fast. Calm down there, zombie chick. Uh oh. Uh oh. Don't wanna die on round four. That'd be silly. You know what? I'm gonna buy this. Get a few extra points. Go for headshots. Oh, there's insta-kill. I'll grab that. Now I can knife them in one knife, get a lot more points. I have to be careful I don't kill myself. All these exploding zombies. Damn. Get all these points. I want to get the, those knuckles. They cost, I think, 6,000, so I have to save up. Whoa, be careful. I, I want to use... The most out of this insta-kill as possible. There we go. <coughs> so far, so good. I love zombies. I'm so glad it's back. You could spend hours playing zombies by yourself or with friends. It tends to be more fun with friends because by yourself, it gets pretty boring after a while. Doing the same rape train over and over. Pop these guys. Carpenter, get a few points off that. One, two, oh shit. Okay, I missed a few shots. I think you can shoot him three times and knife him once. Oh, maybe four shots. I'll try four shots, but I think I already shot these guys a little bit, so. 
Come on, we're going for the headshots. Keep missing. Max ammo. Toss my grenades. A lot of zombies. Reload. There we go. Give him a nice little train, even though most of them are walking, but... Get a good amount of points that way, too. Ooh, double. I'll grab that. Another max ammo? Jesus. Get all these power-ups. Shoot him four times and knife him. One, two, three, four. Knife. Grab that. Not bad. There we go. Got a good amount of points going on. I try to maximize my points as much as possible <coughs> to unlock new things. And here they are. They're called the uh, Galava Knuckle. Galavik? Galavik Knuckles? I can't pronounce that. Is it German? I don't know. It's probably not German. I'm just stupid. Probably something in English. See, it's one, it's one little punch, and you get 130 points. So it's pretty nice. The next thing I might want to get, I might want to hit the box, get a good weapon. Get a good weapon, use all the ammo, then pack punch it. And I think you can pack punch more than more than once. The only thing is, I think you have to have at least one clip remaining in your gun in order to pack punch it twice. And every time you pack punch it more than once, it adds a new attachment. So it's pretty cool. Freaking Mike Tyson punching all these zombies. One hit KO, boom. Boom. Oh, that'll help. I love double points. Whoa! Get out of the lava. Don't want to kill myself. Boom. Oh, get out of there. Yeah, the fire is super risky. I mean, if you're in the fire for a second, and then, like that, two zombies blow up on you, you could die pretty easily. So I have to be careful about that. I'm going to go to the box, see what I can get. <coughs> Excuse me. I hate having a cough or a sore throat or losing my voice. I actually grab this in case I go down. With Quick Revive, you can get back up after being downed. Shoot him five times and then, then punch him. Get some more points. Come on, bitch. Sniper rifle? Yeah, I don't really want that. That's terrible. I hate getting the sniper. Some of you guys are probably saying, grab it, Lee Shot, grab the sniper. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. If I miss, then I have to reload. That won't be good. Although I do have these, so I probably should be fine for a little bit. Until round 14 or whatever. Well, they're starting to pile up now. Boom. 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 Oh, boom. Mike Tyson on these bitches. One hit KO one for life. The KO King. One by one. Knocking them out. Yeah, these fists help so much. Or fist, I guess. Knuckles. Brass knuckles. Get a bunch of points from it. Oh, that guy hit me twice. Gotta be careful. Gotta hit the box again, see what I can get. Is there a tombstone on this map? Oh, yes. RPD, baby. Grab that. This is good for racking up points and rape training. Rape? Rape training? What the hell is rape training? Rape training. There we go. <coughs> Boom. Back to punching them. And it's pretty cool that the zombies that are on fire, if I punch them, they don't hurt me. Like, the, they don't explode. Oh, shit, I missed. I probably shouldn't, like, underestimate these zombies. They can pretty, they can down me, you know, easily. If they corner me. Even with these knuckles. Oh, I don't really want to nuke. I get more points by just punch. I might pack punch this thing just to get out of the way. Even though I said I don't, I don't, or I shouldn't do that because I'll down myself. I can't resist. These things are sick as hell. And they're also a pretty good rape training gun. That's how I said it right. Because if there's a mass of zombies, you just boop, boop, just shoot them. I guess that's the sound it makes. Boop, boop. <laughs> Not sure where that came from, but 
I said it. Boom. Yeah, I'm just hoping that this file I can actually import to my video program. 